So the dance we're doing today is the Queens of Balmoral. Uh, it's a new dance, it was written during lockdown, and as such, it's a low impact dance. And it acknowledges the fact that a lot of us are dancing on very unsuitable surfaces, this being a perfect example, but when we're dancing in public, sometimes there are unsuitable surfaces as well. So I think this is a useful one, not too much hopping, and you can really make the most of the movement without having high impact on your ankles and your knees. So let's ask David just to play the first eight bars. This was inspired by the tempo of Village Made, so you'll be able to just get a feel for it. If we could just have eight bars, please, David. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. And you'll hear as we go through the dance, the first two steps are done to that tune. The tune then goes into a minor for steps three and four, and then back to the original for five and six. So quite a nice little bit of light and shade in there. So first of all, let's look at the chorus. Very short chorus, very straightforward. And if you'd like to walk that with me, we're going to do a pad of ass to the right and then point right, left. Okay, let's just walk that again. So pad of ass, right, right, left. And then exactly the same on the other foot, the second half of the step, pad of ass, left left, right. Okay, now that's actually preceded in the first step by a couple of lilting pad of bass. So I'm going to suggest we do a couple of lilting pad of bass and then go into the chorus. So we'll do it on the right foot first and then we'll do it on the left foot just to get the feel of how we go into that. So to walk it, pad of bass, pad of bass, pad of bass, point, point. Then on the other foot, pad of bass, pad of bass, Pad of bass, point, point. So if we could just have eight bars, please. And make the most of the space you've got. If you've got a little bit of room, let's really work with those pad of bass and really get nice lilting pad of bass. Okay, thank you, David. Ready, and. <laughs> and points, that's our chorus. So let's have a think about what else we might need to do. In one of the steps, we need to turn the chorus. So very straightforward, we're going to do the pad of bass and we're going to turn through 180 degrees and then point. So if I turn my back to you, you'll be able to see that. So chorus, exactly the same, pad of bass, point, point. Okay. Left foot, exactly the same. How the bass, point, point. So let's, so let's just do that with a little bit of music. We'll do the same exercise. We'll do a couple of lilting pad of bass and then turn. It's not as the step goes, but it just helps us to, to get the movement. So first time we're pulling our right shoulder back and the second time we'll pull our left shoulder back. So two pad of bass, pad of bass turning, point, point, and then repeat on the left. Thank you, David. Have any bars again? Yes. Actually, David just made a very good point. So once we've turned the first time, I'm actually going to be facing you. So we'll just do this as an exercise, I think. Just to get that motion of turning on your pad of bass to 180. Okay, thank you, David. Ready? And pull the right shoulder back, point, point. Then pull the left back. Okay, so nothing too complicated there. So that's all we're going to be doing with the chorus. So moving on, let's look at some of the other things that we're going to need in the dance. And we're going to be using a ballonet. So I think most people in this class are familiar with this. This is on the second step. We're just going to be doing simple ballonet, not moving too far forward. So let's just walk that with me. 
So it's essentially a hop, step, close. Walk back again. Okay, and the same on the other foot. So if we could just have four bars, David, we'll do just two on each foot, just to get a feel for that. So two on the right, two on the left. Okay, ready, and. <laughs> everybody's comfortable with that. We're not doing anything unusual with it. We're also going to be using a shake, which we're going to add on after the ballonet. So let's try adding that in just so we can look at that transition. So we're going to do one ballonet, then coming from third position, do a nice shake. Now, if you're not comfortable with shaking, it's fine. Do an extension, and keep it really elegant. For those of you that are more confident, it's ballonet, third, and shake. Okay, we just walk back on the left foot, exactly the same, ballonet, third position, and shake. So let's just dance that. What we'll do, we'll do right foot, ballonet, shake, stand for two bars, then left foot, ballonet, shake. So if we could have six bars, please. Lovely, thank you. Ready, and. Stand for two. Okay. Hopefully everybody's comfortable with that. When we put it into the step, we'll be able to see how that works. Okay, what else do we need? We need to think about some bourrées. Nice and straightforward. We're just going to be using a bourrée derriere. Nothing more complicated, apart from the Russian bourrée, but we'll look at that in a minute. So bourrée derriere, let's just remind ourselves, behind, side, behind. Behind, side, behind. Okay, let's just walk. In fact, let's just dance a couple of bourrée derrières, just again to get a feel for them, still warming up. So just have a few bars just to practice a, a bourrée in each direction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. Starting with the right foot, ready, and. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're also going to need, as I mentioned, a Russian beret. I'm actually going to do a Russian beret in combination with a pad of bass. Well, let's start off by looking at the Russian beret. So with the right foot, extend, step, close, step, extend, step, close, step. Okay, this is an opportunity to put a little bit of attitude and really own this step. It's a lovely step. For those of you that are using skirts, you can really make the most of it. So let's just walk that again. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and. Okay, let's have just four bars and we'll just practice four of those. And then we'll put it with some pad of basque in combination which is how we're going to use it in the dance. And it'll just help us to think about the transition. So if we could just have four bars, please. Thank you, David. Ready, and. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. And as you can see, that's taken us into the third step, which has got the minor tune. So we've got really nice feel and we can really dig into that step. So we're going to introduce the lilting pad of basque with the Russian beret. So let's just practice the transition because it just takes a little bit of thinking about. We're going to do two Russian berets, one, two, but then we're going to use the foot that's coming through, so the right foot, to step to the side for a pad of basque and a pad of basque. And then the right foot is extending again into two Russian berets. Okay, so you just need to think a little bit about your balance and your direction because you're going forward for the Russian Bourrées and then you have a sideways movement for the Pas de Basque. So let's just try that. If we could just have the six bars, please, that would be perfect. In fact, let's have eight bars. We'll do two Russian Bourrées, two Pas de Basque, two Russian Bourrées, two Pas de Basque. And we'll get a feel for that. So Nice straight posture, really think about the step, really own the step. It's a lovely step, lovely movement. Eight bars, please. Thank you, David. Ready, and. Okay, hopefully everyone. 
everybody's comfortable with that. Just a little bit of anticipation. So we're also going to, this dance uses quite a lot of really popular movements. There's nothing complicated. They're all things that you've probably met before, but it's just working out the combination and how they fit together. So we're going to be using coupe. So nice and straightforward, coupe, shift that weight. And on the other foot, just practice, just getting that nice swing. Don't overdo it, try and make sure the front and the back are nice and balanced. Let's just do four bars. We don't want to kill ourselves doing two pace, I don't think. So just two on each foot. So that doesn't, yeah. Okay, thank you, David. Ready? And. Lovely. Okay, and the next movement is the run a bitty back, run a bitty forward, and it's going to follow the coupe. So let's look at that movement and then we'll put the two together just to get the feel again for that movement and how the transition works. So we finished our coupe. We've got it. Let's see doing so right foot. We've got our foot extended, our right foot's extended. So we're going to go from that aero position, back, step, back, and extend. And bring the left foot behind, step, close, and extend. So let's just walk that. So back, 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 forward, forward, forward. Okay, let's walk that on the other foot. So we've just come out of the coupe, we're going to retire and forward. Try that again. And try and make sure that you think about your posture. What you don't want to do as you go back is lean forward because it just doesn't look nice. So let's really think about only taking the leg as high as you can without compromising your posture on that step. So let's put that together with the coupe and then we'll dance the two together. So we'll do, how should we do this? It's the best way to do it. Let's do a pas de basque, a coupe, run a bitty back, run a bitty forward. And then that gives us a nice feel for how that sequence is going to work. Then we'll stand for four bars and we'll do it on the other foot. Pas de basque, coupe, Run a bitty back, run a bitty forward. Now these are lilting powder masks, so I'm not ordinarily doing jetés with them in this dance, but for this step we need to anticipate the coupe, which is why I've put the powder mask on the beginning, so again we can think about the transition between those steps. Okay, we could have eight bars, I don't know. We could have eight bars, so we'll do right foot and left foot. Thank you, David. Ready, and. Lovely. Is we'll do right foot for four bars, we'll stand for four bars, and then we'll do left foot. Okay, so we're just doing pas de basque, coupe, Run a bitty back, run a bitty forward. Then we'll stand for four bars and then we'll repeat it on the left leg. Okay. Now what we're not doing today, we're not actually slowing the tempo at the moment because it becomes quite hard work. If anybody needs us to slow the tempo when we get into the dance, then please say. That's the beauty of having a live musician. We can ad adjust to what people actually need. So let's just try that movement. So if we could have that be 12 bars, please. Thank you, David. Ready and stand for four. And in back foot. Lovely. Have another turning movement which is a hot beat beat turning. So if you think, for those of you that know Flora, for example, it's the same sort of movement. 
So we're going to pull our right shoulder back. In fact, I'll do this with my back to you, it's less confusing. So we're going to use a hop, beat, beat, hop, beat, beat. So two steps to take us halfway round. Depending on your background and your training, I tend to do a hop beat beat with an out in movement, but if you've been trained to do it with an up movement, then that's fine. Either is perfectly fine. Stick to the tradition that you've been trained in, but I will be doing it as more of an out in movement. Okay, so we're going to do two sets. Two hop beat beat takes us through 180 degrees. We're then going to do two paddle bass. One, two. And then an additional two, just to take us back to where we're going. So let's just try that. So if we could just have six bars, please. And we'll just practice that movement, just pulling the right shoulder back. Then we'll stand for two, and then we'll pull the left shoulder back and do the same movement, so that we're comfortable with that. So if we could have, yeah. <laughs> okay, lovely, thank you, David. Ready and <laughs> too complicated with it. So finally, a couple more things that we need. We're going to be using a hot brush feet beat. Nice and straightforward, we're not doing anything fancy with it. So let's just walk that. It's a hot brush feet beat. Hot brush feet beat. Try it on the other foot. Hot brush feet beat. Hot brush feet beat. So we're hopping, extending to fourth intermediate aerial, brushing into third and beat, beat in third position. So just walk that with me and then we'll dance some of those just to get the feel for them for those of you that are less confident. But to hop, fourth intermediate aerial, brush into third, beat, beat. Try that again, hop, brush, beat, beat. Okay, we'll ask David to play six bars again. We'll do two on the right foot. We'll stand for two and we'll do two on the left foot just to get the feel for that. Okay, thank you, David. Ready and. everybody's comfortable with that again anything you're not sure about please shout and nearly then two more little things that we're going to use we're going to use sevens i think what we might do because we've just done the hot brush beat beat we're going to put a beret seven straight after it so again we can think about the transition so let's look at the beret seven first so we've got foot extended we're going to take our right foot behind, side, front, side, behind, side, front. Okay, so we're counting to seven. Let's look at that on the other foot. Behind into third each time, side, front, side, behind, side, front. And a little tip in this particular dance, when you take that last step in front, think about keeping your weight on that front foot. Just a little tip for later. So let's just try it. I'm going to put the hot brush beat beat in front of this so that we're not kind of starting cold with our legs suspended in the air. I think that would probably be a little bit easier. So let's just walk that. So we're going to do a hot brush beat beat and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll stand for two and we'll do it on the other foot. Do a hot brush, beat, beat, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just having a back of our mind, when we do the step itself, the weight will be on the front foot. And to do a paddle basque, 
then we'll do the hot brush feet B and the sevens. Okay? Let's just try that and then that will fit the music and it'll feel a lot more comfortable. Nothing worse than having a, a bar going astray. So we'll do that and we'll stand for four bars and then we'll do it in the other direction. So Panabas, hot brush beat, beat and sevens. Stand for four bars and repeat on the other foot. Okay, thank you, David. Ready and... to start the dance. The last thing, very straightforward, I'm going to turn my back on you for this one. We're going to do a behind and through movement. So it will be behind and through, behind and through. Okay, so we're not taking it behind and round the leg, it's straightforward, behind and through. So let's just try dancing a few of those, we'll just do four of those just to get a feel for it. Okay, thank you, David. Ready, and. Okay, there isn't really time to do a kind of more of a, an elegant unfurling motion. It's very much uh, behind and through. So I'm not expecting you to be flicking the foot out. Let's keep it elegant, but you don't really have a lot of time to as I say, to unfurl that and make it look really elegant. So that's everything that we need. So let's look at the dance. So step one, we've already done quite a lot of step one when we practice the chorus. So we're just going to add on the beginning. We're starting with going to the right, pas de basque. We're then bringing the right foot up behind into third rear aerial and then extend the left foot to fourth intermediate. Okay, so the movement will be pas de basque, lift and extend. Okay, let's try that on the other foot and then we can try dancing that. So on the left foot, pas de basque, left foot into third rear aerial, extend the right to fourth intermediate. So let's just put those two together and walk them, and then we'll dance them. So pas de basque, behind, extend, pas de basque, lift behind, and extend. Okay, David, we could just have four bars, please. And we'll just dance that, and then we can put on the rest of step one, which we've already practiced. And we'll dance the whole lot. So if we just have four bars for the moment, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Ready? And lovely. So is everybody comfortable with that? I think you've probably seen that in other dances. So let's put the rest of the step on. So we've done our powder basque, lift, extend, powder basque, lift and extend. Then we're going to do two powder basque. And a chorus. So you'll recognize this from what we practiced earlier. And that's the whole of step one. And then we'll repeat that on the left foot. So again, pas de basque behind, extend, pas de basque lift behind, extend, pas de basque, pas de basque, and chorus on the left foot, point left, point right, ready for step two. So let's try dancing step one all together. And we'll do left foot and right foot. So have a hold of step one, please, David. Thank you. Ready and.
with that. Anybody want to repeat that? I'll dance it with my back to you and you can just have one more go at dancing that. And then we'll move on to step two. So if we could just have step one again, please. Okay, ready, and. <laughs> So we finished with our right foot extended, ready to go into step two. And the good news is we've already practiced the first part of step two. We're going to do the ballonet composer and the shake. So that's the first two bars of step two we've already done. From there, we're going to do a bourrée derriere, so behind, side, behind, and a pas de basque. Okay, that's the first four bars. The good news is that bars five and six are exactly the same as bars one and two. So we're just going to repeat that ballonet composé and the shake. And then we're going to do the chorus. Okay, well, let's walk that on the left foot. Hopefully with all the practice that we did, this should kind of fall into place quite nicely. So. We've done the right foot, let's do the left. So ballonet composé and a shake, bourrée derriere, pas de basque. Repeat the first two bars, ballonet composé and shake, and add on the chorus, pas de basque, point left, point right. Okay, well, let's try dancing that. We'll go through it twice, I'll do it facing and then I'll do it with my back to you and we'll do both feet. So let's try dancing step two, please. Okay. So starting off, ballonet, shake, bourrée derriere, pas de basque, ballonet, shake, chorus. Okay, thank you, David. Call of step two, please. Ready, and. <laughs> Should we try that again? I'll do it with my back to you this time. So if we could have step two again, please. Starting on the right foot. Okay, thank you, David. Ready, and. one and two together. So we've just done two, we're happy with that, hopefully. And step one, I'll do this with my back to you. Step one was the Padabas right behind and extend, Padabas left behind, extend, Padabas, Padabas, and chorus. And then repeat on the left foot. And we'll finish Step one with the foot extended, ready to go into the ballonet. So let's put one and two together. Okay. Thank you, David. What steps one and two? Ready and. <laughs> Okay. 
get on with that. We'll do it again. I'll do it facing you this time. Ready, and. Can I ask Kathy, please? Yes. The step one, uh, after Padebask behind uh, and is it extend? Is it on the floor or just off the floor? That's a very good point. I'm actually going to ask the divisor if he has a preference on that. When I tend to do it, I tend to do Padebask behind. So I tend to do it literally touching the floor because it gives you control and it gives you balance. It's a point. It's a point. So, yeah. And David's just confirmed. It's a point, actually, on the floor. That. Thank you. Step three, we've already done most of step three. So let's have a look at it. So step three is our Russian bourrée Palabas combination. So we're going to go with our right foot, Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée, and extend into Pad of us right and left, the Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée, pulling our right shoulder back and turning about. And then pointing right, left. Okay, and then not surprisingly, we're going to do the same thing going back. So I'm actually going to change feet at this point because I've now got my back to you. And otherwise I'd be on the wrong foot and it would look weird. So I'm now dancing with the same foot as you. So going back, we've got Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée, powder mask, powder mask, Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée. And this time we're pulling our left shoulder back, left, left, right. So again, I've turned, so I'm now opposite to you. So with a turning step, it's always a little bit difficult, I think. So let's just walk back, I'll dance that. I'll walk back with my back to you, just so that we're completely sure what we're doing on that. So Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée, extend into a right palabas, left palabas. Two more Russian bourrées to travel, pulling our right shoulder back, turning about on your palabas, and point right and left. And then we use the left foot to travel back. Same thing again. Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée, Pad basque, Pad basque, Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée, and this time pulling your left shoulder back, and then point left, point right. Okay, because it's a turning step, I'll do this one with my back to you to start off with. So if we could just have step three, please. Thank you, David. Step three, ready, and. <laughs> comfortable with that step. So first half starting with your right foot and pulling your right shoulder back for the chorus. Second half starts with your left foot and pulling your left shoulder back for the chorus. So it's logical. Okay, let's look at step four. Again, we've already looked at quite a lot of step four, but there's a little bit more in this one. So let's just walk it slowly. So earlier on, we practiced doing 
a powder mask, a coupe, and then we did run a bitty back, run a bitty forward. So you'll be pleased to hear that's the first half of the step on the right foot. We're then going to take a step to the right into a powder mask. Sorry, step into the left in a powder mask. Prepare and coupe again, and then chorus. So let's just break this down. So the first two bars are powder mask and coupe, and bars five and six are a powder mask and coupe, but on the opposite beat. So let's just walk that again. So powder mask right. Coupe left, run a bitty back, run a bitty forward. Powder basque left, coupe right, and chorus. And that leaves us with our left foot extended, ready to repeat. So I'll do that with my back to you. Let's just walk it once more, and then we'll dance that one. So starting off. Powder bass right, anticipate, coupe left, run a bit of back, run a bit of forward. Powder bass left, and coupe right, and then chorus, so powder bass, point and point. And then we've got our left foot ready to start the other half of the step. Let's just dance the first half of that step, see how we get on. It's a little bit of a memory exercise, this one. Once you've got the pattern, it's fine. So, dancing on the right foot, I'll dance with my back to you again so that you can follow. So if we could just have the first half of step four, please. Starting with that powder mask on the right foot, coupe, run a bitty back, run a bitty forward, powder bass left foot, coupe, and chorus. Thank you, David. Ready, and... on with that. A little bit of a memory exercise. Let's try doing the left foot and then we'll put the whole lot together. So left foot exactly the same pattern. So powder basque left, coupe right, run a bitty back, run a bitty forward. Powder basque right, coupe left, and then chorus, that's left, point left, point right. Let's try dancing that on the left foot, and then we'll put the whole step together. So if we could just have the second half of step four, please. David, ready, and. <laughs> on with that. Is everybody comfortable with that? Yeah, fantastic. Let's put right foot and left foot together. This is probably, there are only a couple of steps that really involve a bit of a memory exercise on this, but this is one of them. But once you've got the pattern, it's fine. So let's do the whole of step four. I will dance it with my back to you, so if you get lost, you can hopefully follow me. Okay. Step four, all the way through, thank you, David. Ready, and. turning step again. I'm going to dance that with my back to you to start off with just so that you can follow. So step three, if we remember, started with a Russian beret, Russian beret, Russian beret, powder basque, powder basque, Russian beret, Russian beret, chorus turning, so pulling the right shoulder back, point and point. And then we're going to repeat that dancing back starting with the left. I'm not mirroring at this point because I've turned. 
So don't be confused by that. Russian bourree, Russian bourree, pulling left shoulder back this time, left and right. And ready for step four that we've just done with our Pada Basque Coupe, run a bitty back, run a bitty forward, Pada Basque Coupe and chorus. Okay, let's put three and four together so we get the whole of the minor tune section, which is kind of nice. You can really feel the kind of the Kletzmer influence in this. I love this bit. Okay, steps three and four, please. The Russian berets. Ready and. <laughs> just shout. Otherwise, well, let's move on to step five. Again, you'll be delighted to hear that we've already practiced a lot of step five at the beginning. And this is our hot beat beat movement. So let's put it into the rest of the step. Nice and straightforward. Again, it's a turning step. I'm going to do it with my back to you because it's less confusion. So starting off pulling our right shoulder back, we're doing hop, beat, beat, hop, beat, beat. So two steps taking us 180 degrees. We're then going to do a padabas to the right, padabas to the left. Then two more hop, beat, beats to take us back where we started. Hop, beat, beat, hop, beat, beat. And no surprises here, chorus. Padabas, right and left. Nice and straightforward. Let's walk the left foot as well. I think we're all reasonably comfortable with this. Hop, beat, beat. Hop, beat, beat. Powder bass left. Powder bass right. Pulling their shoulder back again. Hop, beat, beat. Hop, beat, beat. Chorus left. One point left. One point right. Okay. Let's try dancing that one. I'll dance it with my back to you. If we could have step five, please. Okay, so starting off with hot beat beat. Ready and. <laughs> minor tune now so we're back to something with a little bit more lift to it and we've got this nice hot beat beat movement hopefully that went fine let's just dance it once more and then we'll look at step six so I'll dance it with my face to you this time a bit more sociable so starting off with your right foot two hot beat beat two powder bass two hot beat beat and chorus so step five please thank you David ready and <laughs> Everybody's comfortable with that. If there are any problems, please shout. 
And let's look at the last step. So the last step is another one, a little bit like steps two and four. All the even numbered steps have a little bit more to them. The odd numbered steps, probably a little bit more straightforward. So step six. Again, we've practiced quite a lot of this step in the, the section at the beginning of this class. So we've already done, you'll be pleased to hear the first four bars. So starting off with the right foot, pad of ask, pop brush, beat beat, and then into the bourree seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've moved quite a long way across the room, so I'm actually going to shuffle a bit to the right, so I'll put myself there. Okay, now if you remember, I said, think about keeping your weight on that foot, the last foot that you placed. You're then going to spring onto your right foot, bring your left foot behind, and through. Spring onto your left foot, and the right foot behind, and through. And then finish with the chorus. Okay, the way I remember it is when I've done the bourree seven, is it's the outside foot that you're going to spring onto. So let's just walk that again. I'll start a bit further across the room this time so I don't end up in the fridge. Okay, so palabas right, pop brush, beat beat, bourree seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Springing onto the outside foot in the direction you're going. Spring and out, spring and out. And then chorus, pound the basque, left, right. Okay, and then we're ready to go back in the other direction. So let's try dancing that. We'll just do the first half of it, see how we get on. So if we can have the first half of the right foot on step six, please, thank you. So Palabas, hot brush feet, feet, bourree seven, back and through, back and through, chorus. Okay, I'll do it facing, then I'll turn around and do it with my back to you. Lovely, thank you, David. Ready, and... <laughs> Go. Should we try that again? And I'll do it with my back to you this time, just so that we can get the pattern. A lot of this is about anticipation. So starting on the right foot. Okay, so first half, right foot. <laughs> Thank you, David. Ready, and... <laughs> Let's walk the second half on the left foot. So we're going to exactly the same. There's no fancy endings. It's exactly the same. So pad of basque left, pop brush, beat, beat, right. Going into your bourree seven, four, five, six, seven. Springing onto your left foot, right foot behind and through, left foot behind and through, and chorus left foot. Point left, point right. So let's try dancing the left foot and then we'll put the whole lot together. Okay, thank you, David. If we can have the second half of step six, please. Okay, <laughs> still squinting. Okay, thank you, David. Ready and. <laughs> that go? Any problems with that at all? Should we put step the both halves of the step together? Let's do right and left. I'll do it with my back to you first and then I'll turn around and do it facing you. Calabas, hot brush feet, feet, bourree seven, back out, back out and chorus. Thank you David. Step six, ready and... <laughs> 
more just to make sure that it's completely bedded in. I'll do it facing you this time. So step six again please. Thank you. And then we'll put five and six together. So step six. Lovely. Ready. And <laughs> and through but hopefully yours was more elegant than mine was <laughs> apparently David did a wobble as well so I think we can blame the music if everybody wobbled on that one maybe once more for luck once more for luck absolutely would you prefer me facing or with my back to you back please no thanks okay that's fine right so, play, right? yeah David said he's going to attempt to play it correctly this time so that's always a bonus and I'll try not to wobble. So lovely. So it's step six, ready and. <laughs> Fantastic. I can't see, so you can lie to me. It's fine. I'm sure. it's gorgeous. Thank you. It's gorgeous. Excellent. Okay, let's put five and six together. So, quick reminder step five was our turning step with our hush, hot brush beat beats. So, hot brush beat beat, pulling our right shoulder back, two paddle basque, right and left. Hot brush beat beat, pulling right shoulder back, and chorus. And then we repeat going round to the left. And then we'll add on the final step that we've just done, that apparently is gorgeous. See how we get on. So steps five and six, please, David. And we've got the nice major tune at the end, so a nice little bit of lift. So let's really own it. I always find that when I get tired, I start to slump a little bit. But when you're doing the hot brush beat beats, really nice to get some lift. It looks lovely. Okay. Step five, step six. Thank you, David. Ready and. <laughs> six was it fabulous would you like to do that again please yeah excellent yeah back again okay that's fine okay so steps five and six please so hot beat beat right foot turning halfway thank you david ready and <laughs> Thank you. 
when your musician is a dancer, because I think the way that David plays the tune actually really helps you to, to pace the step and to place your feet correctly. I find it an enormous help. I do have a recording, but you can't really substitute for a live musician. Step five and six, ready, and... it with my back to you and then dance it facing you so you'll get a chance to dance it through twice we'll do it at tempo unless anybody wants it slowed down but I think it's easier at tempo and then we might just have a few minutes left at the end if anybody would like to dance it again so let's see how we get on so can we remember as far back as step one step one stepping onto the right foot for a pad of ass Bring the right foot behind the third rear aerial and extend in a point. Pad of ass left. Left foot behind, third rear aerial and point. Then we're going to do two pad of ass and the chorus. Pad of ass right, point right, point left. Then we're going to repeat that. I think we'll walk the whole dance, it'll help to really sort of bed it in. So going up to the left foot, got pad of ass left, behind and point. Pad of ass right, behind and point. Pad of ass left, pad of ass right and chorus, pad of ass right. I beg your pardon, pad of ass left, point left, point right. Okay, that's step one. Step two, we've got our right foot extended. So we're going to do a ballonet and a shake from third. Bourrée derriere, pas de basque left, and then repeat the first two bars, which was the ballonet and the shake and chorus. And that leaves us with our left foot extended to repeat. So ballonet and shake, bourrée derriere, pas de basse right, ballonet, shake and chorus, left and right. Then we're into step three, shuffle back a little bit for some space. We're going to do Russian bourrées, right and left. Pas de Basque, right and left. Russian bourrée, right and left. Then pulling our right shoulder back, Pas de Basque, 180 degrees, point and point. And then we're ready to go off and repeat that on our left foot. I'm mirroring, so I'm currently on my right, but you will be on your left foot. Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée. Pas de basque, pas de basque. Russian bourrée, Russian bourrée. Pull your left shoulder back, point and point. So we've got our right foot extended, ready for step four. We're going to do a pas de basque to the right. We're going to do a coupe left, run a bitty back, run a bitty forward. We're then going to repeat the first two bars on the other foot. So, pas de basque left, coupe right, and chorus. And we've got our left foot pointing, 
ready to repeat. So let's just walk up through on the left foot, Tadabas left, Coupe right, Ranabiti back, Ranabiti forward, Tadabas right, Coupe left, and chorus. Finishing with our right foot extended, ready to go into our hot beat beat turning. Going to do two hot beat beat. One, two, Tadabasque, Tadabasque, two hot beat beat turning, and the chorus. Right, left, to finish. And then we're going to repeat. So this time we're going left. Okay. And chorus, left, left, right. Okay, ready for step six. We've got our right foot extended. We're going to do a pad of us onto the right foot, pad of us, hot brush, beat, beat, the left, and for a seven. Our outside foot is our right foot. We're going to spring onto that and bring the left foot through, right foot back and through, and chorus to change feet. And then we'll repeat that. Powder basque left, hot brush, beat, beat, ray seven. Outside foot, remember, we're going to spring onto, bringing the right foot behind and through, left foot behind and through, and chorus to finish with two points. Okay, so the beginning is just four bars. So we stand for two, curtsy, and ready to go. And we're going to start with pad de basque. And at the end, we just have a chord. So you will finish with your two points, ready for your chord at the end. So nice and simple. Okay, let's try all the way through. I'm going to start off facing you since we've just walked it facing. So let's dance it facing. And then I'll dance it with my back to you for completeness. Okay, all six steps with an introduction and a curtsy or a bow and a chord at the end. Thank you very much, David. <laughs> Thank you. 
was great. Thank you very much, Kathy, for clear instructions and beautiful dancing and the lovely music from David. Yes, thank you to the musicians. <laughs> thank, oh, thank, thank you very you. much. It was an absolute pleasure to join the class today. So thank you for inviting us. So we've got a couple of minutes for anybody that wants to do a cool down. Yeah. We'll just get uh, some nice waltz music. I'm just going to do some stretching of the upper body and the calf muscles. There'll be people out there, and you know you need to work on particular stretches. Please just use the music. Okay? Non era che ho conosciuto così senza barba. Era più rubizzo, adesso è più ha dei colori più umani. I think somebody's on mute. <laughs> okay, we just have some waltz music, please, David. Thank you very much. So five minutes over. Apologies, everybody, for going slightly over, but hopefully... No, no problem. I often go over much more than that. So thank you very <laughs> much for you. Uh, wonderful class and super music, David, and the lovely dance. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much indeed. I'm very lucky to have a musician. I appreciate that. It makes a big difference. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank much. you very much.